Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anton Loperoff and in this video I'm going to talk about the Celtic Knotwork algorithm developed by Peter Cromwell and specifically my implementation of the algorithm. And uh, Peter Cromwell described the algorithm to develop Celtic Knotwork in his paper, Celtic Knotwork Mathematical Art that you see on the screen and you can try to Google for this and um, just check it out. I'm not going to go into much detail describing the algorithm itself but I'm more going to talk about my own implementation of the algorithm and a bunch of extensions that I added on top of it. So if you don't know what Celtic knot work and Celtic knots are, you can try to Google it and come up with a bunch of images. Essentially Celtic knots are illust graphic illustrations of knots, as you can see on the screen, that were adopted by Asian Celts and uh, who use them as a part of ornamental design of the of their manuscripts and monuments, etc. And uh, once again, you can uh, Google for it and uh, check it out what exactly it is. And I'm not going to talk much about it, but instead, I'm going to jump straight in uh, into the discussion of my own implementation of the algorithm, how to produce uh, Celtic knots programmatically. And uh, my implementation was done in Java. And uh, let's just launch the application and uh, as you can see uh, the, when you launch the application it just comes up with an initial grid that is used to design uh, Celtic knots and uh, as you see here the plate work is constructed out of a grid 10 by 10 here and uh, uh, what the grid is if you look up uh, you can actually load uh, by my application you can open a file so let's say I have some pre-made knots so let's say you open this file so as you can see this knot here it's built on a six by six grid and it's actually reads from the file here that's uh, there's a special format adopted by the application and uh, the first two uh, numbers here are the size of the grid so as you can see here there are three there's actually four red dots on the top and each one of the columns here that are determined by the red dots are actually split up by the r column of green dots so as you can see here there's one two three columns they are split each in in half so you actually end up with six columns so that's where there are six by six so we have a six by six grid here and uh, that's the format of the application that's actually it was specified by the assignment that I was doing and um, what we what we can see here that that's actually my program working and when I load a file it generates a Celtic knot and uh, that's one of the main things of the algorithm but uh, in detail I want to discuss my extension to the algorithm is an actually an uh, interactive way to specify the Celtic knot so one thing is that you can see in a file that another number that's specified after the grid size is this 15 here it's the number of break markers that are used to generate the knot. So if you look back into the grid here, the white lines here I called break markers. And uh, there's a break marker here, there's a break marker here, and the break markers can actually connect pairs of dots on the screen here, which are essentially the the dots that define the grid. So each break marker either connects two, green, uh, two closest red dots are two closest green dots and they cannot go in diagonally or it can only go horizontally or vertically and uh, here they are in a file the break markers are defined and um, so one of the things that I wanted to do is try to specify these break markers instead of doing it in a file but actually do it in an interactive way so if you're a designer and if you want to create a Celtic knot it would be much easier to do rather than specify it in a file this way you get direct feedback to you so you can see if it works for you or it doesn't so I'm not gonna talk much about this so uh, I'm just gonna jump in and show you and let's say let's create a new grid here so let's create a 20 by 20 grid and there's some options here so we, let's turn on so one of the things that I can obviously disable the grid here and this way I can see the final Celtic knot instead of uh, this helper grid that helps you generate the the knot itself so one of the first tools that I have is that so one of the things that you notice when I move my mouse around this dots highlight so that's already an interactive interface and what they do it actually helps helps you know what I'm going to select so one of the things that I did in the first place is addition of break markers on on the fly instead of specification them in the file so when I click here I can actually pull around a break marker here as you can see it highlights uh, when I uh, go in a valid position it will tell me hey let's put a break marker here 
So that's one of the first things. And uh, one of the cool things that when I actually place the Breck marker, when I finalize it, my knot changes on the fly. And uh, that was my initial idea. So um, you don't actually have to specify it in a file, but you just place this break marker and let's add some more here. And you can automatically see the knot shaping up. And this is could be very useful. So let's add a border here. It's a very useful if you're an artist and if you're trying to design it that you can see it right away. And instead of, let's say, I'm trying to design something here, I put a, put a break marker here, I put a break marker here, and then I realize that I don't actually like it, I can quickly erase this and uh, go on with my business instead of uh, loading, unloading a file, which is, could be quite painful. And we can obviously remove the grid and see what the knot looks like. And that's one of the things and obviously there's another helper feature that just uh, allows you to toggle the border since one of the things when you create let's create a new grid it's empty one of the first things you might want to do is create a border around it and this is not always true so that's why it's not just by default since sometimes let's say I want to create something like a strip of knots I don't want to actually create a full border but I want to create this kind of border, which uh, usually Asian Celts use their knots as a part of decoration on the border of things, which would just infinitely span um, your illustration. Uh, and uh, in this way, you don't have a border on the side. So just imagine this infinitely repeats to the left and to the right. And um, let's see here. So one of the other things, one of the features of the applications, you can actually save the knot in the same file format that you had. So let's say I can save this uh, into that initial text format and file saved. And another thing is you can also save file as an SVG image. So I can actually create new SVG and it will save the entire knot, well the final version of it without the grid.